I'll do it real professional. Ooh. Matt, aka K Riggs, we got you here in a setup position where you got pretty good spine angle, nice and tall. See with myself to the right. You got the alignment of your body, feet, hips, and shoulders pretty much perpendicular to the leading edge of the club face. Grip, both hands working together pretty well. Just suggest that you keep that right hand a little more underneath the club so you don't see any knuckles when you look down on that right hand. Okay. And keep that grip pressure a little lighter in the bottom hand to keep that forearm softer and more tucked, as you can see with me to the right here. I'll keep your shoulders square to the target and just make sure you get out the flats of your feet and remain a little more on the balls of your feet, more athletic, stable position at address, right? Everything else in your setup looks real good, including the ball and club center of your stance. We're going to watch your takeaway now. On the way back, see the club goes back, and you can see how your arms are tend to kind of bring that club too much on an inside arc. You can see how halfway back that club of yours is going to disappear behind my screen. See that? Yeah. So you get a little too flat, right? Then your arms start to rise up your body, but look how your arms are behind your shoulder, right, as opposed to over top of it. So you get a little, a little bit flat and laid off. And from that position, you make a pretty good turn, though. You can see how the club's going to come and reroute itself in front of your body. You drop it down and square that club face up nicely there and then release onto your left side. But even your balance at the very end is a little bit suspect, right? Yeah. So, better balance to begin with. A more direct path the club takes down the target line and sets more vertically. You'll be able to square that club face up and get rid of that, that hook or that pull you sometimes have. Yeah. And just apply that setup to all your clubs. Just allow for the length of each club shaft.